Heyo, it's Abby, and today we have some remints to open. I got an assortment of remints. I have an extra one of Pochaco, so we're gonna open 13 boxes today and see which one is the cutest. I'm especially excited about the Pop and Sweet collection. Let's start with the Kawaii Matsuri Cute Festival series. Pretty sure this is an older set. I've gotten number three from a random unboxing. I want the food themed ones. I think that's takoyaki. Oh, and the sweets, of course. Honestly, I just really like the box. Isn't that a cute design? This is one that's taped down. I got these remands at Don Quixote, which I like to call like a Japanese target, but oh no, it's a double. First one, and it's a double. Um, what was I saying? Oh, that Don Quixote is like a cluttered Walmart or Target. Literally has everything. A lot of them have supermarkets and they have toys, stationery, clothes, electronics, everything. Anyway, this is a double. Honestly, I don't mind having doubles or remints, but I will leave this one in the bag. Maybe one of my friends would like it. It's really cute. It's a little shaved ice set. I'll give you guys a peek through the bag. There's Keropi. There's Batsumaru, probably grape flavor, and then the jar of syrup, and then the cups. Isn't that cute? And then it's a Peckle shaved ice machine. Well, that's a fantastic start. I did get these all from the same, you know, shelf. So hopefully this is from the same set box, and we'll get a different one. I think we're good. Food, I see candied fruit and a little pool for yo-yos, which are water balloons on rubber bands. There's a little swimming pool, the little hook to fish up the yo-yos. It's a very common festival game. The background looks so empty. Maybe I should put the boxes back up there. Hello Kitty bow-shaped pool. There's the water with the indents for the yo-yos. I always forget this isn't a great angle for remints and tiny little displays, but here are the water balloons. Usually they are very sturdy water balloons. I guess if I say water balloon, it makes you think of like, you know, the thin ones that you throw to break and get people wet. But these are very thick and sturdy. So they're usually floating in water like this. Let me know if you have games like this in your country. This is usually like a piece of twisted, I think it's like tissue paper. It's very thin. And then you have a metal hook at the end and you try to get a yo-yo before the paper tears. I think the loop might be a little too thick to scoop it up, but that's how the game works. The balloon designs are so cute. We have pom pom pudding, pochaco, and keropi. And two little sticks of candied fruit, strawberries and grapes. These are delicious. If you ever find the candied tangerines though, those are the best. I guess they're mandarin oranges, not tangerines, but they're good. These are good too. They don't come with a stand or anything though. I wonder if it goes with any of the other sets. You could probably swap them out. Look at that little laminate bottle. Oh wait, I just noticed number four is a cotton candy machine. Here are the paper crafts, little signs, yo-yo city, fishing for yo-yos. 500 yen a try. And the candied fruit sticks are 300 yen each. Look, I bet if you buy the full set, it comes with this background. That looks so cute. That would be perfect for ball joint dolls. Okay, we need a little something to go on the shelf here. Let's open the Pop and Sweet collection. This is fairly new, though it's been a few months since I got it. I honestly think I would be happy with any of these. Pikachu, Piplup, Eevee, Pachirisu, and Emonga, Gengar, and Ponita. Galarian Ponita. I like all six. Let's open it up and let's see if it's this big. Again, I took these off the shelf. I've never opened any of these before, so the first one will not be a double, and hopefully the second one won't be. Oh, we have Ponita! Let's open it up. These are usually pretty easy to put together. Here's the base. Ooh, it's fluffy. Can you see that? I think it's glue. There's like crusty plastic or something. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, this is more of a struggle than I expected it to be. Alrighty, let's rewind a little bit. Um, Sammy tripped over my cable and unplugged my camera and corrupted my file. So, let's try this again. Here is the Ponita figure that I got. It has like dried glue on it and I think I'm gonna reach out to Rima and see if they can replace it. 
It's not that big of a deal, but it's also not very pleasing to look at. Otherwise though, this figure is adorable. It is a little bit smaller than I thought. I thought it'd maybe be a little larger, kind of like the terrariums or like the hanging, swinging ones. But the design is very, very good. And then we have this one. I lost all the footage of me opening this, but it is the cute Gengar one. And he's just perching there, chilling, taking a nap. I like the little mist or cloud. The moon's painted, the stars aren't. I really like the base on this one though, it's a pretty purple. And seeing them together has really made me want the set. Anyway, if you get a chance, grab this Remand. Super duper cute. I think one of the dream companies to work with would be Remand, because I've loved them forever. Like, the start of YouTube. I mean, I knew about them before that, but I really started collecting them when I started YouTube. Anyway, next let's open the Chocolatier My Melody. I think I got these on sale. I was tempted to get a full set because chocolate miniatures, but I don't know. I tend to go for the more colorful sets. This one is very muted, but I guess we'll see. I hope we get the little Kuromi figure. I wish they'd do a standalone Kuromi set. It's a lot of My Melody and Kuromi lately. Oh, well. It's not Kuromi, it is My Melody, some Kanure, I think we call them here, and a stand. It's shaped like My Melody! She comes with a tiny heart-shaped stand. Adorable. Also, don't mind my hand, I was doing dishes this morning and I think the soap irritated them a little. Gotta moisturize. Anyway, here's the figure. It has a lot of detail even though it's small. Here, let me see if I can hold this so you can see it. We have the plate. That stand is adorable. This set, I didn't feel bad buying just one or two because I know I can use it with other stuff. Sorry, the dogs are running around. Yeah. Yeah, we need to find another angle for three minute videos, maybe. Have you seen the Kirby set that I filmed? I really liked the way we did that one where I did the paper crafts and we unboxed it. Well, here's this cake stand. Oh, this one's number one. It's Yokoso Irashaimase. It says, Welcome. And then it says, Kanure. I love how in Remint the English and Japanese title are so different. This is what it would look like all set up. I think it comes with this counter. I assume this is part of the box or maybe a paper craft. Or does it come with two counters? I don't know. I don't I don't think it does. Seeing it like this, I want it. Look at the little cake pops or chocolates. The paper craft looks like it's a bag for the kanure maybe. And then a shop card, like a loyalty card. And then a little price tag. 500 yen. Now we cross our fingers for not a double. And something kuromi. I either want, well no, I want the kuromi one because it comes with the little chocolates that I liked. This little shelf is cute too. Oh my goodness, okay. So yesterday was kind of an unlucky day. It was a bit chaotic and then losing my file and it was stress. But this makes up for it. Look at that. We got the two figures. I guess I don't need to buy the full set now. So tiny. Look at the bows on our ears. I'm so happy I got both. My melody and good on me. Next we have this little stand. Of my melody chocolate and could on me. Oh my goodness, so adorable. All right, I just had to deal with cleanup on an aisle hallway. Let's get back to this. Is this the top? This is the bottom. Um, where were we? We got the Kudomi figure and the cute chocolate lollipops that I wanted. These are chocolate covered strawberries. Look at this strawberry, it's shaped like my melody. Totally out of frame. My melody strawberry. And a pink one. Does anyone else have needy pets? I swear, Sammy likes to be near people too, but Elle is so needy. She has separation anxiety, she's clingy. It's crazy. Anyway, there's that, very cute. Chocolate covered strawberries. This one comes with extra. Oh, it's stickers for the chocolate box. I thought the box looked a little bit fancier. Look at that. So it has a lid and the little sticker that wraps around. I'll put that on later. The paper craft is a poster and then two price tags. 
We love extras. I really noticed when I made all the paper crafts for the Kirby set that it not doubles, but it adds on so much to the set when you do the paper crafts too. Next, let's open this one. This is Kokoro Tokimeku, Watashi no Ohea. And I think it's a lot of nostalgic stuff. Did you have a unicycle? Looks Sailor Moony to me. Little bookshelf, stationery, desk. How big is the desk? Table, little kitchen set, little dress up set, and then that has to be Sylvanian families. So I got two of these. Never opened this set before. We're gonna give it a go. Oh, the sun's coming out. It's getting kind of bright. Oh. Oh, it's the unicycle. Number five. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Wait, this is so cool. And it actually works. I feel like this would work for a ball joint doll size figure, right? I think we meant somewhere between 1 6th and 1 8th scale. Oh my goodness, that's so cool! A unicycle, and it's pink. I always wanted a pink one. I had a red hand-me-down one. What else do we have in here? Oh, a stand for the unicycle. Hat, bag, some candies that probably go in the bag. Here's the stand. It goes like this, or does that? Oh wait, I think it goes like this. Haha. <laughs> My unicycle didn't have a stand. Here's the tiny hat. It has the character Mezzo Piano. It reminds me of that brand. It says Poochie Fairy. I think this hat would work with like a Figma figure maybe? Very small. Here we have the purse that's textured. Does it open? I think it does. Yeah. That's cool. And we have these tiny, tiny candies that can go in. Except I don't think I could get them out. Wow! Look at even the strap is textured. Brima has so much detail. A tiny magazine! And has some pages on the inside. Ouch. I'm gonna put the candies in the hat. Number five, the English title is Unicycle. And it says, Osoto de asonde kurene. I'm gonna go play outside. As a set, in total, it looks kind of simple, but you get a lot of good props with it. Here's the paper craft. Some candies, oh, the wrapper, and an apple juice. Oh, apple juice sounds good. Let's open the second one. You know what, it's gonna be a horrible day when I get doubles from the two that I bought, but, oh, okay, so this isn't one that I really, really wanted. It's a little cooking set, but like a toy cooking set, so, I don't know how good it'll be for like using as a miniature kitchen, but it still looks pretty cute. Here's the stove, the knobs turn, and there's a little grill to go in here. I don't have any appliances here at the studio yet, so I've been using the fish grill to toast my bread. I make toasted chicken and cheese wraps. It's very yummy. Here is the frying pan, some carrots that you can cut apart. Some fish. No having stir fry tonight. Cutting board. You know what, these could totally be used for props. And a little knife. Maybe not the most exciting one for me anyway, but it's cute. Play kitchen. Mama goto daisuki. And it comes with uh, band-aids and a book. We have mermaid and pochako left. And I've been filming this video for the past two days, so I have no sense of how long it is. Sorry if it ends up being super short. So this set, I have been eyeing this since it released. I don't really collect this style of sets. If I were making like displays and dioramas, I think it would be really cute, but I just didn't really see how this would fit in with the remints that I collect, really. It reminds me of the mermaid set from Animal Crossing, so I really wanted it, and it was on sale, so I grabbed two, and we'll check it out together. It would be cool if we got the pearl bed. I think that's what it is. The little props would actually probably be better when you think about like decorating rooms and stuff with it, since it's not a full set. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, oh! Just what I wanted. A lamp, a snow globe, a picture, 
frame with a picture to go in it, or a book. Actually, I don't know what goes in here. Anyway, let's open it up. Here is the light. It's like a little jellyfish lampshade. I think it just perches. That's quite cute. You know what? This will go well with my fairy tale style Sylvanian family stuff. That pearlescent pigment is stunning. Nemo! This is adorable. Can definitely use this. These are very good props. So, the picture that goes in the photo frame it's right here, you can cut it out, and you can make your own pictures. I really like that. You don't have to commit to like a sticker. And the book, the sticker, which I will not be putting on. Favorite, dore mo watashi no okiniri. Gadgets and gizmos aplenty. Second one, um, the record player would be cool. Actually, the teapot's cute too. Don't really care for the shoes or the purse. The furniture, oh, actually the little makeup kit would be amazing. I'd love that. Whoa, not my day today. Do you ever have those days? I feel like I've been having more of them lately. I promise I did not peek. You know what? I will take this luck. I said I was having one of those days, but we did get lucky with the Kunomi My Melody. Look at how pretty. Brush. Little compact, perfume, nail polish, and a mirror. Here's the mirror. I went ahead and, whoa, put the sticker on. It does wanna flip though. It's a little top heavy. Might just glue it down if it keeps doing that. That's a little unfortunate, but look at the backside. It's a mermaid. It's very pretty. Kiki Lala colors, little twin star vibes. It's foundation. There's a little mirror sticker to go in there too. And the puff. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I love these kind of miniatures. Maybe I do need to buy more like furniture type remands, not just the food ones. Let me know if you'd like to see full set unboxings of sets like these. That perfume bottle is stunning. Such a pretty gradient. Abby colors. The brush is pretty too. And here is the tiny nail polish. Oh wait, the box is gonna be the paper craft. Here it is. That's very pretty. I will put this one together. We are down to our last three. I got three of these because they, I think it was the last three that they had. I was like, you know what? It's probably from a set. They'll probably all be different. And it was mega cheap. I don't know if Pochaco is not that popular or the character stuff isn't as popular. I don't know. Pochaco no ochi. Pochaco's house. Always want the food. The bed's cute. Headphones, TV. Oh, I want the melon soda. Little table with ice cream, little gardening set. Let's just open it. Oh, the gardening set. Oh, this is cute. This will look cute in a dollhouse. Here we have the planter, some dirt, a carrot, and Pochaco's little friend. Is that a mole? Some tools, shovel, and a tiny bucket. How cute. Obake ninjin ga toreta yo. So, an extra large carrot. Obake. It's called ghost, but I think they say that about overgrown vegetables. Carrot seeds. I want the melon soda. I remember there was a pom pom pudding room like this. I can't remember if I have the full set or just the fridge, but I remember getting the fridge. Ooh, pochako and a chair. I can see why this set was marked down. It's cute but I feel like it doesn't come with as much. Chair, Pochaco. That's adorable. I'm glad that Pochaco's getting more love lately. Tiny cup and a pencil. Writing a letter to my friend. There's the envelope and there's the letter. What does it say? Too choppy. It says, let's make a carrot cake at my house soon. What, that's adorable. Last one. Oh. Making carrot cake. Okay, I want the carrot cake, the melon soda. Wasn't there an ice cream? The odds are in my favor because we have the first two. Oh, I think we got it. And the desk. Do you see what I mean though? It's a complete set, but this compared to... Oh, but that was one set. This is two sets, so it feels like a lot. I don't know, maybe I'm just used to there being more smaller pieces. I don't know. Well, we have a table and chair now, so that's a good set. 
ice cream. Oh, this is so cute. Ah! Tiny pochako and a little spoon. I don't know if this is gonna stand up. My hand might be too shaky. Daiskina banana ice. Banana ice cream. My favorite banana ice cream. And there's the paper craft. That packaging is cute. I just realized I don't have all of my um, cutting supplies over here anyway, so I will have to bring those over from the house. But if you'd like to see me make all these paper crafts, I will try to set up a crafting night soon. It'll be on Discord. We have them, we try to have them weekly. Haven't had them as much lately because I've been kind of busy, but maybe I'll have a little paper craft night. We all do different crafts. Some people journal, some people do whatever craft project they're working on, and some people just come to hang out. So join us. We have, we have random events throughout the year. I would like to host more like movie nights and game nights. If you want friends that like toys and crafts, join us. Anyway, this is a very chaotic two days of filming these 13 boxes. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. I do love the full sets, but I quite enjoy opening random boxes. So if you have any requests or if you like these types of videos, please let me know in the comments below. I appreciate any feedback and compliments. But yeah, I will end here today. I'll be back with more Remet videos, more blind box videos, and I will see you all next time. Bye!